It's the toast, it's the toast, it's Boston's Weekly Toast. It's the Weekly Toast. It's the toast, the toast with the most. Boston's Weekly Toast. My first question for you is, what have you heard about Darfur? I've heard that there's some genocide. And there's civil war going on. Like, do you know any of the facts about it, basically? I used to work at a ribbon store. I know that the ribbon color is forest green. That's what I know. <laughs> do you guys know, like, who the conflict is between and what country it's in? Do you guys, um, do you, like, watch the news at all or anything? Yeah. Yeah, but you haven't seen this on there. Have you heard much about it from, like, the government talking about it? Recently, I feel like not at all. How did this all start? It, it really began, if you look at the colonization and the British rule. And what Britain left was a very unevenly developed country. They had developed the north of the country, but not the south. This created a lot, as you might imagine, a lot of instability. A lot, mm -hmm. of, a lot of people looking for someone to blame for why they're starving. And once oil is discovered in Sudan, the whole thing essentially changes. Now everybody wants to get involved. A lot of trouble way before we even get to where we are today. Who's getting killed and who's killing him? There's essentially two sides. There's a rebel group and there's a government group. The government itself is sort of trying to root out rebels ostensibly, but that takes the form of basically attacking these non-connected villagers. People are being raped and killed and displaced. What kind of human rights violations aren't happening? Slavery, mass rape, different forms of coercion, ethnic cleansing. Militant groups called the Janjaweed, I guess, which are Arab groups, but they're sort of kind of sketchily sponsored by the government. They say, well, the Janjaweed did it. We don't really know how to stop them. Do you know about how many people have been killed? I don't. Should we Wikipedia it right now? We could do that. Ah, uh, Darfur is Arabic for home of the fur. So according to them, at least 400,000 people have been killed. I would imagine that it's considerably more than 400,000. I would imagine that it's definitely in the millions. My last question for you, have you heard about anything that like Americans might be doing to try to stop the genocide? I'm in a, a group at Northeastern trying to get Northeastern to divest. The tea has all those, um, the different advertisements. Talking about how you should tell your mutual fund company I need to divest from these companies. I went to the rally, but only to put Hacky Sack in there. That's kind of amazing. Thank you.